As Commissioner Jolly mentioned, my name is Christina Ariaga. I have had a lifelong passion for this topic as many of my colleagues or all of my colleagues at the Commission. Um, my father escaped Fidel Castro's Cuba, my mother was in a concentration camp in Germany, and I am privileged that I can continue to work in the field of human rights through my work at the Commission. I'm humbled to speak today on behalf of two extraordinary women. Their names are Mabash Sabet and Foriva Kamalabadi. Their name may sound foreign to all of us, but they want the same things we do, to live according to their deeply held convictions, to be with their families through the good times and the bad times, to be there for births and celebrations and weddings and death and funerals, but they can't. They're both Baha'i, and because of their faith, because the government of Iran considers them to be heretics, they were imprisoned in 2008. Since 1979, the government of Iran has killed over 200 Baha'i leaders simply for their faith. Many of those they don't kill, they imprison, like Mabash and Fariba. In the last year alone, the number of Baha'i prisoners went up from 75 to 90. They're held in the most horrible prison, one of the most horrible prison systems in the world in Iran. Every month, the propaganda machine of the Iranian government puts out articles defaming and slandering the Baha'i. The articles have increased from 400 articles a month to 1,500 articles a month. Mabash and Fariba are members of the Baha'i Seven, a group of community leaders that was arrested because they were attending to the spiritual and social needs in the Baha'i. And as I mentioned, they were arrested in 2008. They were arrested with other leaders whose names need to be spoken clearly and loudly. Jamaluddin Kanjani, a man who's 85 years old, and who's still in prison, who was forbidden from for going to his wife when she was dying, who was forbidden from going to his funeral, who suffers from heart disease, and he's still in prison. Afif Naemi, Saeed Reze, Baruz Tabakali, Vahid Tifam. For months, the government placed them in solitary confinement without any access to legal counsel, any explanation for their arrest, except they were tried and convicted for espionage and spreading propaganda against the regime. They each have to serve for at least 20 years. Until 2011, Fariba and, Maraj, and Mabash were held together in the same cell in the Abin prison in Tehran, in two small, with two small cots, no windows, no bed, no pillows, I want them to know they are not alone. I want them to know that I want to lend them my voice. While in prison, Fariba, in small scraps of paper that she was able to smuggle out, wrote a whole book of poetry. One of her most moving ones is the one that she writes about her cellmate. I'll read you a small portion of it. Oh, my companions in the cage, how many cruelties we saw together, how many favors too, and blessings in our isolation. They tied your wings to mine, feather to feather. A hundred stones have bruised our breasts and our lips, but they are sealed. All the false charges which were hurled against us shall melt away. For Eva and Mabash, your voice was indeed taken away. Until you are freed, we, all of us here, will lend you ours. You are not alone. We are here with you, and we together will fight for your freedom. Thank you very much.